This is part two on creating graphics with PowerPoint. So one little known fact about PowerPoint, unless you have 2003, is that you can go to File to New and it brings you up to some templates. And this works in 2003 and 2007, 2000. And 10, but 2007 and 2010 have much better graphics. 2013, your your opening screen already has the templates. So right here, I can browse PowerPoint templates by clicking here and just looking through different templates, or I can use this handy dandy search bar here to try to find something. So for example, if I wanted, um, let's say, uh, school. I can type in school and a whole bunch of pre-done templates that have been labeled school pop up for me. And I might be able to find something there. I can also search by a subject matter. For example, maybe I want science. And I can click on science and I'll find some pre-done templates that are ready to go that are around a science theme. So if I want one, I can double click on it or click on download and I will have this here. And I can quickly change whatever I want. If I don't want an item, I click on the outside and hit the delete. Once I have this in here, I can do some fancy stuff underneath format. There are lots of text effects. I can even go to the um, Done. If I want a bevel on that text, if I want a shadow to be added to it, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Of course, I can insert my own clip art, pictures that I have on my computer. I can do shapes, and a lot of us like the word art, so we can click on word art if we like. And if you want some even more options, you can right click and go to format shape and take a look at some of the things that you can do here. Once you're done with this, obviously you could print it out and it would um, print full size. Um, And, um, or you could use the snipping tool. Again, if I type in snip down here, then I'm going to click on new snip and I can just drag and drop around however large I want that graphic. And then when I click on save, I can save it as a JPEG. If I want a transparent background, I can do the, the um, ping. Let me backtrack and do one other thing. I'm going to go ahead and close my snipping tool here. I'm going to insert a picture and I'm going to insert something that has a white background. And I'll say, you know what, I don't want this white background. If I double click on a graphic, I might have to click on the format tab. In 2010 and 13, there's a remove background. Now, it, anything in pink is going to be removed. And so it shows only the S. Well, I want this to go out a little bit farther. And I'm hoping once I pull it out farther, it's going to pick up more. Well, it didn't. But the good thing is, is I can come up here and say mark areas to keep. I'm going to click on that. because, And I'm just going to click and drag. And it picked it up. I'm going to click and drag just a little bit. Wow, it's picking it up pretty well. Sometimes you have to click and drag in one section and click and drag a little bit in another. It picked it all up. And so everything in black is going to keep and everything in pink is going to go away. I'm going to say click keep the changes and look at that. It knocked the background out. That is so cool. And now I can bring this up, of course resize it. I could turn it if I wanted. It's in the front. Let's send it to the back. Right click and send to back. 
Notice the other things that I can do with this graphic. If I click on this, there are all kinds of different color effects. So I could change it to different colors. Let's change it to gray. And there are also artistic effects that you can apply. And some might turn out nicely and others it might not do much depending on the graphic that you have selected. So you can do a lot of things with these graphics once you place them on underneath the artistic effects if you double click on them and then make sure you click on the format tab. Of course you have these items too that you can mess around with.